Hi, and welcome to episode 10 of Soul Talk, this magical double digit number. Uh, it's an all time summer celebration. Uh, a lot of things have happened since last time we talked, and right now in the free agent frenzy that's going on, we're just looking through the, our jerseys here with this second. Like, we got Derek Rose going to the Knicks, Noah to the Knicks. We got Pagasol, Spurs, and of course the blockbuster Durant to Golden State. So I'm guessing we have a jersey sale real soon with all of these guys. Uh, fun stuff, of course, and it's going to be really interesting to see what the NBA looks like next year. And uh, starting this uh, today or this morning, actually, uh, it's the seventh. So now all the signings is going on, and Mavericks are taking people hostage. So we like that kind of stuff, and we're following it. 24-7 of course. Uh, also, uh, we're really sorry about the crash of the site last night with the NMD runner primates. Uh, we don't really know what happened. It was a lot of people at the site at the same time and uh, uh, we're fixing those issues and we're working uh, to make it never happen again. But uh, we're really humble and grateful for all of you guys being on the site at the same time. Starting tomorrow, Saturday, we will be releasing the first movie from There Is No Off Season campaign. Uh, we have uh, brought some of our Soul Squad players up to Sundsvall and put them through some workouts, both in the gym and uh, on the basketball court, of course, but also in the ski slopes here in the north. Uh, there's no snow anymore, thank God, but uh, there, there's some tough, tough hills to climb and to run. And uh, we had the players trying out some of the Jordan training gear, both shoes and, uh, and clothes, and uh, well, they were really happy with their, their performance. Uh, of those and, and you will see all the movies coming out Isaac is working 24 7 to get those out and uh, the first movie will be released on Saturday so check that out on either Facebook or, or YouTube also uh, keep following us this summer it's gonna be a little bit different I'm traveling with the Swedish men's national team both the under 20 and the men's team so I'll be gone for several weeks but we're trying to do this soul talks either through Skype or some other ways. We'll, uh, and we keep blogging, of course, on soulstory.se. You can follow us there. And of course, root for us when we play those games. It's always important. And we're playing against uh, Finland, hopefully, in Finland in the under 20, against our boys, Thomas Hirvonen. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, coach, of course, Anton Mirloboy, our ambassador in Finland. So that's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, but let's talk about this week's releases. Okay, the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro is coming up, or at least in a month and a half. But we're already receiving some of the USA colorways. Uh, you've probably seen some of them on the site already. Uh, starting with the, one of the most exciting ones, actually, the Soldier, Soldier 10. Uh, done for LeBron with his Olympic number. He's not gonna play. But the, the shoe is so nice, they kept releasing it. It's uh, three Velcro straps, no lacing. And the fit is really good. You saw LeBron playing these in the finals in the in the black colorway. Also coming soon, by the way. But the, I think this is a really nice American colorway. Uh, the Kyrie 2. I think this is the ninth color of the Kyrie 2 we had this far. And I, I think this is the great one. I'm, I'm a big fan of the white, blue and red. So really clean colorway, of course. Uh, the release of the KD9 was a big success. Uh, we still have some pairs left. This is a... Super comfortable shoe, the flying it upper, the new uh, Zoom Air out uh, midsole cushioning. Uh, everything about this shoe is really good. The only thing I had problems with was getting my foot in. But while it was in, I didn't want to take it off. But you know, don't worry about the struggle to get it in. While it's in, it's going to be the most comfortable shoe uh, you're going to wear this season probably. And uh, the Grandmaster Kobe uh, reminding him of his previous championships with the American team. Uh, uh, details like different blue and red lace tips. I think this is a really clean colorway in the fly knit, of course, uh, and the icy blue outsole. I think uh, all, all this lineup is, is really good, so check those out and uh, don't don't sleep until the Olympics start, because then it might be too late. We didn't get that many of them, so, so be there. Also, we received some of the clothing for the Olympic team, and. Uh, we haven't received all of it yet, but some I just want to show you so you know what to look for. Of course, this t-shirt, I'm wearing it right now, uh, and in the white. 
Uh, I kind of like the whole uh, basketball never stops slogan they put on there too. Um, we got the Kyrie and Durant jersey t-shirts, uh, name and back. Uh, ah, just a clean look of course, and I like the, the details on the on the numbers, trying to look just like the uh, like the jerseys, which are coming soon also, but they're not releasing until uh, in August, so we're gonna sleep on those a little bit. The hoodie, you saw me wearing it earlier, really nice. The elite materials, of course, uh, perfect for both training and just looking nice uh, around. And I think we got the matching pants too. A lot of clothes here, looks like. Yeah. And but to, to top it all off, this is my personal favorite, and I actually took it out for a spin yesterday. It's the, the USA jacket. We got the the laser the sweat holes in the back or, or breathing system. Got the American flag, of course, on, on the arm. And my favorite detail, uh, and I kind of like the swag of it too, is the gold little detail here on the inside pocket. This is uh, the uh, design for the. the green. Designed to the exact specifications of USA basketball and got all the stars, got the USA logo and the swoosh, all in gold. I think this is a nice detail. But the jacket, of course, with the shimmering and ah, perfect jacket, uh, really nice. And uh, again, limited uh, pairs available. So, so if you're into it, get it as fast as you can. We haven't released them on the site yet, but they will be up in a couple of days. So when, when that drops, uh, be ready. The next big release in the performance line is from Adidas and it's the Crazy Lives Boost Low 2016. This is the first colorway, the all white, or actually a little bit of grey in the camouflage, but we call it all white. Uh, it's coming a lot more colors uh, all during the summer and the, the fall. Uh, this is a, a really nice shoe. Uh, I say that a lot, but in, in this case the, the full length boost is the first basketball shoe to ever have full length boost all the way, uh, just like the Ultra Boost and the Jesus and uh, whatever you wear to casual day. This is the performance shoe for you guys. So Adidas improve a lot in this one. They have a, they call it the roll cage uh, on the side. Uh, it's for when you make your crossovers or your uh, your moves. You don't want to roll over. This is kind of stabilizing all the way through. And you got the midfoot shank uh, underneath to keep it all together. And in the back, you can see on the on the heel plate it's kind of different usually it goes all the way around but in this case it's only on the outside or lateral side to stop you from rolling your ankles and keeping it lightweight and also put a neoprene uh, upper on, on the uh, on the heel here to, to make it more comfortable and lock your heels down and Achilles to, to give you a, a smoother ride and uh, I think this is a really nice shoe and the price is, is very very good for this kind of a performance uh, performance footwear. Uh, so check these out, they're really comfortable, uh, again we don't get a lot of them so, so check them out and get yours as soon as you can. For this week's drop, coming Saturday at 10 o'clock Central European time, uh, is the Kobe 11 Dark Knight colorway. Uh, and as the name kind of symbolizes, it's, it's, it's a dark one. It's uh, what Kobe and, or what Nike is doing with the Kobe line now is bringing back old successful colorways. This was from Kobe 5, I think, back in 2009. They had a Dark Knight colorway. Uh, they had a little more blue in it back then, but now it's all black and gray. And a little bit of red on the heel. And you can see on the insole it's red, so you can see through the outsole. Uh, this is a really clean colorway. I, I'm, uh, I'm usually not a big fan of, of all black shoes, but I think this is a really nice pair. And uh, the reflection of the Kobe logo on the tongue is a nice effect. And unfortunately, I think we're gonna see these on a lot of referees. <laughs> uh, referees usually like Kobe's and they want all black shoes, so uh, uh, that's where they might end up. So get them before the refs do, uh, if you wanna play in these. Uh, Again, the mesh and the lightness of the Kobe 11 is uh, remarkable. So I think this is a, a great shoe for, uh, for all your on-court purposes. All for this week's episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Please follow us on instagram.com slash soulstory.se on facebook.com slash soulstory.se and on twitter uh, at soulstory underscore se. Thank you guys for liking and sharing and doing all that stuff. We're trying to keep some more uh, competitions and the stuff happening on the social media during the summer. So keep checking us out. 
and of course soulstory.se for your releases. Make sure you sign up as a soulmate to get into the hottest releases every week. See you soon. <laughs>